This demonstration will show how centralized policies can be applied granularly to different Cisco iPort web security appliances using the management appliance. From the Cisco iPort management appliance, all web policy is defined and managed from within the web section. Identities are key to controlling which access policies are deployed to the web security environment. For this exercise, we will create two identities for a theoretical Europe and North American deployment. For more information on identities, please refer to the user guide. By default, all centralized identities defined will be available to all web security appliances. But we want to control this behavior, so by following this link, it is possible to manually define which appliances the identity will be available to. For this identity, this will be the web security appliance S161. In this exercise, we also want to perform authentication, so we'll choose the AD authentication realm. If you're unsure how to create an authentication realm, please again refer to the user guide. Now we'll create the North American identity. The order of identities can be important. If so, you can select where to insert a new identity or reorder existing ones. For the purpose of this demonstration, the only difference this identity will have is for it to only be available to the web security appliance S162. So here we now have two identities. We can see that each identity will only be available to the defined web security appliances. It's now time to configure any access policies. Access policies are where permissions to access defined web content is granted. Again, for this example, we are going to create two access policies, one for North America and one for Europe. This is where we now use the appropriate identity created earlier. In this case, as this is the North America policy, we will select the North America identity. Let's now do the same for the Europe access policy. Here you can see that we have defined two access policies that are tied to two two unique identities. By changing the view to a particular web security appliance, you will see which access policies will be available on that web security appliance. In this case, web security appliance S161 will only have the Europe policy. S162 only has the North America policy available. Before we proceed any further, let us see what access policies are currently running on our example web security appliances. We can see that only the global policy is currently available on S161 and is managed by our security management appliance. The same can be seen for S162. Before we can push this policy out, we need to commit the changes on the management appliance. Now we're ready to update the web security appliances. As we want to do this right now, we'll choose to publish the configuration, but we could choose to schedule it to happen out of hours. When you're pushing out a policy, you have the option of selecting individual appliances. In this case, we want to update both web security appliances right now, so we'll select all assigned appliances. So the configuration push was successful. We can now confirm that the web security appliances have got their updated configuration. Refreshing the view shows that web security appliance S161 does have the required Europe policy. 
and looking at web security appliance s162 again as required it only has the north america policy